When I was 11, I visited this crocodile farm. And crocodiles, what they'll do when they're mortally wounded is they will flip over on their backs and slip into a coma and basically commit suicide. And so I said, all right, my science fair project, this is what I'm going to test. I'm looking to see if cells commit suicide if they're infected by viruses. So my teacher said, okay, that's fine. You can't do that here. To do that, I, I really I needed a lab, an outside source for, for help, a mentor who was knowledgeable in the field. So I picked up the telephone book and I started calling local area labs, scientists, companies to see if anybody would be willing to help me. Nobody called me back, of course. One company actually called my mother back because they were concerned that I was growing viruses in my basement. There was one person left on the list. He was the director of one of the local public health labs in our area. And he said, you know what, sure, you know, I'll help you. Why don't you come in and talk to me? I'll train you in lab protocol. I'll train you in the technique. I'll show you how to do all this. I took some cells. I infected them with the virus. The cells did change, but it wasn't clear why. So that project was inconclusive. But I was treated as an adult in the lab. I learned all these techniques. He was in my existence enough to help me to grow and to learn, but he was wise enough that he never told me what to think, what to do. The importance of a mentor when you're a kid, I think, is, is fundamental and crucial. It's so much more than just the material. It's the people who are teaching it to you and the, the atmosphere. So I said, well, I can do this for kids. I would love to, to make this some sort of community service project. I had picked Wiz Kids as the title because I believe that all kids have the ability to be uh, Wiz Kids. They just need the right kind of stimulation and they need uh, the right encouragement and the right you know, umbrella under which they're learning. And that's how you develop a scientist.